Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog from New Zealand. So this vlog will be heading off to Rangitoto Island, which is one of the newest volcanic islands in the country. Uh, it's a volcano which is almost 60, 600 years old. Since it's a conservation island, we will ensure that our shoes are not, sorry, carrying any dirt or germs, uh, pests. And the boarding is basically from Pier 13 and 14. The adult fares start from $47 is for a return trip. If you book it online, then you get a $4 discount. I would recommend booking it online. There are two ferries to the island, uh, one at 9.15 which goes via Davenport and the second one at 10.30 am. For return, one ferry leaves at 2.30 and the second one leaves at 3.30 on weekdays. And if it's a weekend or a long public holiday, then at 4 p.m. But it's always better to confirm the timings at uh, the ticket counter. Since Rangitoto Island is a good natural trail, one should have adequate sun protection as well as should be wearing good footwear which allows them to go for those long walks. So an important piece of information is that there are no convenience facilities uh, at Rangitoto Island so one has to carry their own uh, food as well as uh, drinking water. Uh, since there are no drinking water facilities, please do carry that in adequate amount. So the one way ride to the island is almost 30 minutes one way and uh, definitely it's all scenic. Please do enjoy the moments next. So after the jetty we took a right turn towards the information block and from there we took the first trail which goes to the summit. So while the trail to the summit is there, there's also a detour for the lava caves which I recommend you the must see. From there you can go back to the summit and then you can take a crater walk. And then there are two options available for you. One is to go to the Mackenzie Bay area and the other one is to go to to the Islington Bay Road area. Now if you go to the Mackenzie one you can see the lighthouse and if you go to the Islington Road area then you can see some shipwrecks which uh, can be seen during the low tide. Now I saw this tidal pool which is right opposite the information area and I'm sure if it was full there would be people jumping in into it. The building you see right now is uh, the washroom area and that's very close to again the information desk. So for people with mobility issues, we have the option of using a 4x4, uh, which is on the left. I'm not too sure of the cost, but there were two Jeeps which were available.
so that's about it uh, from this video for uh, i hope you guys did enjoy it till we meet again do take care of yourself stay safe loads of love from new zealand